All right, let's have a look. So, um, bro, let us have a look. Let us have a look at our first very question. All right, it says the diagram below, number of scale, shows the journey of a ship, which which sailed from K to L. So a ship is sailing from K to L. We're also told that L is located um, 28 kilometers east. So this is 28 kilometers east. If this is east, it means that this must be north. That's east, that's north. This is what? East, this is south, and this is west. Fine. Now, we have what? West, and we have what? East, and we have south. So let's go. So L is located 28 kilometers east. So from K, you go east, 28 kilometers. And then what? And south, how much kilometers? And 16 kilometers south of what? K. So from K, if you went 28 kilometers east and 16 kilometers south, you get to L. Ladies and gentlemen, if you went east, and then south. What would be the angle here? The angle here would be what? The angle here is 90 degrees. So, what type of triangle is are we dealing with? Talk to me. Ladies and gentlemen, the tools for solving the right angle triangle are Pythagoras theorem and the trig ratio. The tools for solving a right angle triangle are Pythagoras theorem and the trig ratio. First thing, calculate the distance KL. Calculate the distance KL. If I have two sides of a right angle triangle and I wish to find the length of the third side, what must I use? I must use Pythagoras theorem. No, Pythagoras theorem. It says a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Now, other letters can be used, that's not important. What is important is what the letters represent. A is the hypotenuse. B and C are the other two sides. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the hypotenuse of this triangle? So this is x squared is equal to, what are the other two sides? So it's 16 squared plus 28 squared. What is 16 squared? How much is it? What is 28 squared? 784. Add them together, where you get? 1,000? What is the opposite of square? This is 30. Alright, it's 32.2 kilometers. 32.2 kilometers. What next? So KL is 32.2 kilometers. What do we have to next? What is the period of what? It can't be L from L, so it must be L from something else. L from K. It must be L from K. The bearing of um of the bearing of L from K. Oh, the bearing of L from K. Alright, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, we have to identify the angle that represents the bearing of L from K. I'm taking the bearing from K. The north south east west line is drawn at K. Bearing is measured how? Clockwise starting from north. This entire angle here represents the bearing of L from K. 
This entire angle here represents the bearing of L from K. This piece of it we already know. What is this piece? 90. 90. So this is north and this is east. The angle between north and east is what? 90 degrees. What we don't know is this piece of it. Let's call it alpha. Can we find it? What is this side to the angle? Opposite. What is this side? Which ratio includes opposite and adjacent? I'm going to say tan. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then I'm going to say the tangent of alpha is equal to opposite 16 over adjacent 28. Alpha is equal to. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know the tangent of an angle, to find the angle, you must use tan inverse. So, alpha is equal to tan inverse 16 over 28. Use the calculator. Yeah, 29.74. 29.74. So let us say 29.7 degrees. So last we know the bearing of the bearing of L from K, which is this entire angle. This angle is 29.7 degrees. The bearing is 90 plus 29.7 degrees. This is 119.7 degrees. The bearing is approximately 120 degrees. The bearing of L from K is approximately 120 degrees. This is what I said to you. Bearing is measured. Bearing, a bearing must be three digits. A bearing must be three digits. It is a three digit angular direction of one point from a second point measured clockwise from north. The bearing of L from K is 120 degrees.